hello hello welcome back to let's talk entertainment news if you've not subscribed to our channel please take a moment to do that now also feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below as long as you can be constructive or positive this is a negative negativity free zone around here that's what we're trying to build at least all right jumping into your second news story of the day as i sometimes do i am jumping into the music world and primarily if I'm talking music, it's usually going to be heavy metal of some sort, especially from the underground, but not necessarily. Sometimes I also talk about blues and some other things, but today it is heavy metal. It is classic death metal pioneers, Cannibal Corpse. Cannibal Corpse teases new song, Summon for Sacrifice. That is a good, sturdy Cannibal Corpse style title. <laughs> A new Cannibal Corpse song called Summon for Sacrifice will make its online debut this Wednesday, which is tomorrow, um, tomorrow morning uh, for me, if you're watching this when, it's, when this video is new. The track is taken from the Death Metal Veteran's 16th studio album. Has it already been 16? Uh, Chaos Horrific, again, a very sturdy Cannibal Corpse style title, <laughs> which is due on September 22nd via Metal Blade Records. A short preview of the song is available below, and I will link the video or this story in the description so you can hear the clip yourself. Since 1988, Cannibal Corpse have been at the forefront of death metal, shaping and defining the genre. In 2021, they raised the stakes again with Violence Unimagined, a great album. I have it. And in 2023, the band's 35th anniversary, they will return with its successor, the equally monstrous Chaos Horrific, starting a new chapter in their storied legacy. Written shortly after the conclusion of Violence Unimagined sessions, echoes of that album exist in Chaos Horrific. Okay, so... Um, to be perfectly honest, um, whenever somebody says written shortly after the conclusion of the violence of the previous album's sessions, uh, it makes to me um, sound like the given song is probably a leftover. Not necessarily. Um, automatically, you think of, yeah, this is something that wasn't good enough to be on the previous album. But it could also be that it was something that just wasn't complete on time as well. So we shall see. Um, but it is the lead-off track, so I'm assuming they have some faith in the song. To me, this album feels sort of like a continuation of Violence Unimagined. That's a pretty stock answer from these bands, <laughs> says bassist Alex Webster. The band members have been always been noted for techni technicality and complex songwriting, but that doesn't define where their writing process takes them. I believe that our songwriting has progressed in a manner where every song paves its own path, whether it's a straightforward or technical song. Do they have straightforward songs? <laughs> uh, Notice guitarist Rob Barrett. Sometimes it's a mix of both, so there's no preconceived idea that we want to be more technical. The the music just sort of takes its own course. And, you know, as far as um, being technical, um, uh, for many years uh, in the death metal realm, I think that uh, Canon Corpse was the gold standard, but also for the past 15, 20 years as well, um, the music has moved on in a way um there's bands that you know, there was a time when you didn't think anything could get more heavy than cannibal corpse but clearly <laughs> that is no longer the case and there was a time when you didn't think things could get more technical um but again uh, that is not the case however i've always at least for a long time now seen cannibal corpse as sort of being the motorhead of death metal um they're a they're a type of band who you expect more of the same from them and you wouldn't want it to be vastly different but even within that sameness they manage to push it and stretch it and redefine it and just in small ways small little adjustments uh, and improvements and uh, things learned through maturity and somehow um, they manage to make what should be perceived as being boring for somebody who listens to every album um, but it still comes off to be interesting but also ever dependable so um, Cannibal Corpse has certainly done a good job of walking that line but yeah what do you think um, be sure to hop on over listen to the preview and then check out the full song on uh, Wednesday morning and then if you do be sure to come back to our comment section and tell us what you think see you later